It's Friday farm vlog. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I'm gonna stick to cartwheels, no splits. <laughs> I don't got that. <laughs> Welcome to Just One More Story Farm. We have some updates today. It's hard to believe that we just had snow a couple days ago covering the farm to the point where our chicken netting was weighed down so much that it came down and ripped part of the pallet fence down. So we have some repairs to do this weekend. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay, okay, Mr. Darcy, Mr. Darcy, come on. But we're gonna get that done now that the snow has melted and it's not a complete mud mess around here after all the rain and snow melt. <laughs> but in other news, we got some gifts in the mail that I wanna show you. Guys, don't eat my gifts. No, don't eat my gifts. No, no. So I received in the mail from Mr. and Mrs. Pretend Farmer. <laughs> which if you don't know pretend farmer is a YouTube channel that is amazing he talks about chickens <laughs> and his wife mrs. pretend farmer she makes freshies and they were so kind as to not only give my channel a shout out and talk about my soaping Sunday and my goat milk soap but also sent me these gifts in the mail, which was really thoughtful of them. Oh, excuse me. So they sent me a piggy freshie and a piggy pen. So Mrs. Pretend Farmer makes these freshies. So I'm gonna open it up and take a sniff because I'm so excited about it. And you may be wondering why pigs? Well, the Pretend Farmers, they have adorable pigs. Little cooney cooney pigs that I love watching. And someday, <laughs> Calvin James, <laughs> and someday, I'm hoping to manifest this. Someday, Just One More Story Farm will have piggies, little piglets, and, oh wow. Oh, this smells good. Oh, you think it smells good, Calvin? Don't eat it, don't eat it, sir. Oh, good thing you're mini. This smells really good. <laughs> Look how cute. I'm so happy it came through the mail just fine. Ah! I'll put some pictures of it. It's got beautiful beading to hang it. My kids, Calliope and Kaden, they were so excited when this came in the mail. So yes, manifestation. Thank you so much, Mr. and Mrs. Pretend Farmer, for sending these adorable gifts. Hey, hey, you can't eat the package. <laughs> what was I thinking opening this with goats? Mr. Darcy, I know. It smells wonderful. So Mrs. Pretend Farmer does sell these on Facebook <laughs> and at craft shows, which I aspire to be able to sell my soap at craft shows like she does with these freshies. <laughs> and this is amazing. This piggy pen, guys, let me show you this. cutest little pig ah and it's so soft I love this this is a cute little pen this will look great in my just one more story farm office where I can do my editing and I can write out my script with my little piggy pen so thank you so much mr. and mrs. pretend farmer for thinking of me and helping with my little piglet manifestation if you'd like to support Mrs. Pretend Farmer, I'll put a link to her shop down below in the description. I will say the goats were very interested in smelling and munching on the freshie. The chickens, however, are very interested in the next gift I received in the mail. <laughs> Look at this giant bag of black soldier fly larvae. This thing is massive. <laughs> Oh, excuse me, this is not goat yoga, Calvin. <laughs> oh, now you're interested, huh? Now you're interested? <laughs> it's five pounds of black soldier fly larvae that was sent to me by Grub Terra. <laughs> so why would this company send me a free bag, a giant free bag of Grub Terra? Well, 
a long time ago, I made a video about black soldier fly larvae and how much my chickens love them, how much it helped their feathers when they were molting, because I love the joy on my chickens' faces when I see them eating a snack that they like, and they love this snack. And so I wanted to share it with you guys and let you know, like, this is a good snack. It's packed with protein. My chickens do great on it. They get excited for it. It's awesome, right? Well, Grub Terra noticed. <laughs> they reached out to me. They asked me if I would make a video about black soldier fly larvae. And they'll send me a free bag so I can show how much the chickens love it. And I was like, well, that's great because my chickens love it. And it's something I already recommend to my viewers. And so they sent me that free bag. I made that video, right? So I'll put a link to that if you wanna check out that video. Well, <laughs> I got an email from them. They loved the video that I made of their product. So then they send me an email, right? You won't even believe this. This like blew my mind. <laughs> Boys, it did, it blew my mind. Oh my goodness, guys, I can't read it if you're on top of me. Don't eat the paper, don't eat the paper. I wanna share this. I do, I wanna share this. Okay, so I got an email from the affiliate in charge at Grub Terra. She said, we really enjoyed working with you in the past and we would love to collaborate again. We would also like to offer you an affiliate referral option to make money from any sales you generate from the collaboration. What? Like make money from this? Like I was excited about the free bags of food because I was like, my chickens love this stuff and a free bag of snacks, wow. But to get also get paid through an affiliate program, collaboration with them, like mind blowing, right? For me, anyways. <laughs> so in the email, they're asking me to join their affiliate program, which means that in my videos, they want me to do a 10 to 20 second reminder or blurb about Grub Terror and include a custom link in the description of my videos. So what does that mean? How does that benefit my viewers, right? Get this. Okay, so they gave me a custom code, which is just one more story farm, the name of our farm, right? I'm so sorry. And if you guys use that code, when you purchase a bag of black soldier fly larvae for your chickens, you get 10% off. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I don't mean to scare you. I know you're waiting for this. <laughs> and so you guys get the 10% off and your chickens get the benefit of this amazing snack, right? But then they're saying here that every purchase that's made using my link, Just One More Story Farm, as your discount code, gives our farm 10% of that purchase price, which depends on what size bag you buy. But if we got $3 when you buy a bag of food, you guys buying just a few bags of food would get the chickens a new toy a few extra bags on top of that. I could try a new chicken product and share that with you guys. The opportunities are endless. It is amazing. So this is the first collaboration I'm doing as part of this channel. And I'm so excited about it because I couldn't have asked for a better product because it's something I was already using and already something I was excited about. <laughs> and any money generated from it is just gonna benefit my farm. Oh my God, are you having too much fun? Okay, I've teased them long enough. They love this stuff because it's bugs. It's black soldier fly larvae. Like that's what they spend their day doing is digging and looking for grubs and worms, all kinds of insects. And to have it freely given as a snack. And this stuff has way more protein than they would get in other snacks. So crude protein, 34% minimum. That's a lot of protein. So I do have to keep in mind when I'm feeding this that I should not give them as much of this as I would as like a mealworm snack or a sunflower seed snack or corn just because this has so much protein. We don't want this to be their meal because they're eating their layer pellets. They're just getting this as a snack, extra protein. So all of these larvae, right? Hello. 
They love it. So this fall, when I made the commercial for this, my chickens were going through a hard molt. They went through a hard molt this fall, and some of them were bald on their back, and some were missing feathers on their head, and the roosters had hardly any tail feathers. So I have been feeding them Grub Terra as snacks in the hopes of increasing their protein daily so that the extra protein they need to grow all these feathers before winter sets in because you definitely don't want them bald in the winter, especially here in Massachusetts where it gets cold, we get snow. Right now it's 47 degrees. And so while today is a warmer day, it still gets really cold at night, freezing temperatures. So they need their feathers. And if you look at them, everybody has a full set of feathers. They are fluffy butts going on. Nice, I mean literally, I'm not kidding, their backs were bald. And they have now all beautiful feathers. And if you look T-Bone over there, he's got feathers on his butt. His tail feathers came back, right? And now Clifford over here, Look at those gorgeous tail feathers. Clifford, show them your tail feathers. <laughs> so I am so happy that my roosters don't have bald butts anymore and that the hens have their gorgeous feathers back. I love winter when they're all fluffy. <laughs> and they stopped laying eggs when the day got shorter and they had to focus on growing out those feathers. So that extra protein went to feather growth, not to egg production. And now their feathers are back in and I'm so happy to say we got our first large egg from one of our hens. And so now that they have feathers, this protein can now go back into making eggs, which is exciting. We've been getting eggs from our little pullets. And speaking of eggs, when they use this protein for the eggs, it creates stronger eggshells. <laughs> which will be good for our little pullets doing their little tiny eggs to help strengthen those eggshells, make them thicker. Oh, it says right down here, it's got 75% more calcium than mealworms. So not only more protein than mealworms, but more calcium too. <laughs> Hi, Freddie James. So I'm excited that this farm has another potential revenue source. Every bit helps because certainly having a farm, the feed gets expensive. I went to the feed store today. I got feed for the animals. So I got chicken feed for the chickens. I got a bag of goat pellets for the female goats. I got hay for the, all the goats. I got dog food for our giant dogs. I got cat food for our farm cats. And so that bundle today was just over $200 and will probably get us through the next week and a half give or take the cat food usually lasts a bit longer because they don't eat as much as our other animals they're also avid hunters <laughs> but selling hatching eggs selling chicks these chickens are, definitely have the capability of paying for their feed using their eggs and chick sales the goats so far not so much but we'll see what happens with the goat milk soap when i start selling it and see how that looks as far as bringing in money for the farm to pay for the goat feed bills. But YouTube helps. You guys watching these videos, bringing in advertising money, that definitely helps, as well as affiliate links like Amazon links to products that I use when you guys click on those links and purchase products that you learned about on this channel. That also gives us a commission. And so all these little things, they all add up to help pay for this farm. And it's so wonderful to have the joy of raising these animals while also being able to support them financially. If you're interested in knowing how much I get paid through YouTube advertisements with you guys watching this channel, how that supports the farm, I'd be happy to do a video on my first check from YouTube as well as how much YouTube has paid me through the whole year if that's something you're interested in because it's certainly a way to bring in money to help pay for the farm. <laughs> So just let me know down in the comments below if you want to see that. I'll get on making that video this week. 
and I got two other things to share with you. <laughs> One, I know I've been calling the 12 pullets our newbies that we raised up this summer as the rebellious pullets. Well, I feel like I can't call them the rebellious pullets anymore because miraculously they are no longer rebelling. They are laying eggs and they are going to bed to roost at night in the main chicken coop. So before they were roosting all over the place. I was finding them on the roof of the chick coop. They were up in the netting. They were up on the pallet fences. It was crazy. Every night it was like go around and play hide and go seek with the pullets. And I was definitely like, how am I gonna get these pullets to go in their coop? They didn't wanna go in the chick coop. When I moved them, they didn't wanna be in the chicken coop. They just wanted to sleep outside, but it's winter. There's predators. They need to be in safe at night. <laughs> so I'm so happy to say I no longer have to go around and collect these chickens at night. They have been using the automatic door and going on in. I figured out how to get them to stop rebelling and go in the coop, so I'm so happy. <sighs> it's great. And the final bit of news, one second, let me go get them. This is Doug. So Doug has been in my garage for over a month now. We've been treating his abscess on his foot that had gotten infected. And he's at the point now that he's ready to come back outside. His foot is looking a lot better. He's no longer limping on it. So we're gonna try him living out in the chicken coop and see how he does with some free ranging. And if he needs to come back to the garage, we'll bring him back. But I think it's time that he gets out and gets back to enjoying the farm. Now we've definitely gotten a lot closer him living in the garage and me taking care of him every day. And honestly, I know I call him Doug, but the more I get to know his personality, I feel like he's more of a Douglas. So I've been calling him Douglas. <laughs> he's just a big sweetheart. But he has grown so much in the last month. I may have spoiled him a bit since he was so close to the kitchen living in the garage, but he may miss the kittens in the garage and all the extra spoiling and treatments that he got, but he needs to be a rooster. Would you like this? Would you like a worm? You want a black soldier fly larvae? So we're gonna let Doug free He'll get to free range with the flock, but Clifford and T-Bone are definitely not gonna accept him with their ladies, so he will have his separate coop to sleep in until we can find him just the best home, because he's a special guy. <laughs> okay. There you go, bud. So he has gotten pretty attached to us, so I do notice when we bring him outside for field trips, he does hang out with my daughter and I and sticks close to us rather than hanging out with the chickens. He's just been out of the flock dynamics for a while, but they'll work out their pecking order again, get things figured out, and hopefully in the meantime, we'll find him a good home so he can have a flock of hens to himself. <laughs> Because ideally that's what's best for roosters is just to have their own flock of hens. Now I will say him being that close to Clifford is impressive. But Clifford has had to really get used to having a lot of roosters in the flock this year. With Otto and Wally and Wilbur. <laughs> Alright, so Clifford just chased Douglas off letting him know that this flock is his and Douglas is not to go near his pullets, which is understandable, that's a rooster's nature. So we're just gonna work on finding him a good home. <laughs> so if you wanna try any of these products, check out the links below in the description. But thank you for hanging out with us today. And if you haven't started your farm yet, 
What are you waiting for? Get your farm on. And if you liked this video, feel free to give us a <laughs> thumbs up, hitting that like button, and subscribe if you'd like to see more of our videos. <laughs>